This is the work environment Jane Riddell is used to on a daily basis. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. But not too long ago, the Chief Operations Officer of Good Life Fitness did something a little bit different. Jane's about to take the biggest risk of her career and swap the boardroom for barbells and take on a surprising new identity. So I'm hoping to gain some insight into how we can retain our associates longer and give them a better experience and retain our members longer and give them a better experience. And it's out of her experience that she hopes to help other leaders. You won't have that opportunity to go undercover with the camera crews, but what you can do is you can go out into your, your stores, your clubs, your offices, whatever you know, your business is, your factories, and you can work with your people. You can spend a day with them, you know, and you can ask them questions and listen to them. And I said, you know, when you do that, you need to go out not as dressed as a boss. Go prepared to work, contribute, help. And you'd be surprised at what you learn. I've done that a few times since the undercover boss. It's really nasty. <laughs> oh, God. Jane's experience changed the way some decisions are made at the company. We've made a commitment as a company now to never, ever make a decision regarding a frontline process or procedure without getting feedback from the people who actually do those jobs. What I'm hoping to find out today is how we can help to engage and retain our better people. What happens if we lose a great personal trainer is we lose a lot of great members along with them. The first thing we do is try to interview and hire for fit. We think cultural fit is a much more important aspect of predicting success in the company than uh, skills and abilities, and it's on a par with experience. So we do a really good job now of trying to screen for cultural fit. And we do that in a number of ways. We take people on a workout as part of their interview, which is revealing. You know, it's a different environment and it kind of gets them out of their comfort zone. And we personally, we don't care that they're fit. I don't care that they're fit. I just care that they try. And as you push up, you literally just want to force yourself up, breathing out as you come up and breathing okay. in as you come back down. When an ideal candidate comes on board, Good Life looks to grow them within the team. We talk to them about um, what our vision is as a company and what our, what our goals are. You know, we talk to them about what, what their goal, what are your goals, you know, where do you want to be, you know, and what are your fitness goals because we're a fitness company. Where is Asada going to be five years from now, ten years from now? I'd like to be training instructors or maybe Mm -hmm. I just create my own program yeah. and then start training people yeah. to do it the way I do it. Yeah. That's a great dream though, to have. Since being on the show in 2012, Jane says one of the areas Good Life has developed further is in its rewards and recognition program. It's important that an organization put focus on the strengths and achievements within the team because it's an effective way of developing positive behaviors in addition to celebrating sales results. We have a number of um, communication pieces where we profile uh, members and associates who have done incredible things. We also give uh, our people uh, friends and family coupons for one-year memberships that they are, can give out. Every month we do a, a sales launch, uh, which is where we bring our uh, top performing people in and reward them, recognize them for the jobs that they've done. Uh, we have a top 500 conference that we bring our top 500 people in from all over the country. Uh, to Toronto every year in August and uh, have a big conference for them. One of the most difficult challenges for Jane in her undercover boss experience was leading an exercise class, but ultimately it was one of the most rewarding. I started out feeling ridiculous when we first got here and I ended up like he practically had to drag me out of the room and, and that was because of Asada. I'm so proud of my company because of her. 